November 24th, 1993. It's Happy Turkey Leg Day. And I'm making a turkey in a Dutch oven, as you saw just a second ago. I was going to show you a few things. First of all, I use Kingsford charcoal. It's important to use a charcoal that does light. Some charcoals don't, but I like Kingsford. What I do is I use eight pieces on the Dutch oven. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And we have three tiers. The bottom there's eight, the middle there's eight, and here's eight. And if we went up higher, you keep using eight, eight, eight. That's all you need. They last about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on the weather. Right now it's about 40, 45 degrees. Refrigerator temperature. This is my charcoal bucket. It has holes for air. Uh, and I, what I do is I count the charcoals and put them in here. So I have eight, eight, and eight. Three eights are 24. I put them in here and then light them. And after they're perfectly white, as you can see, uh, then we use them. Now, something I do to get extra mileage out of my charcoal, uh, there's ash that builds up on it. If you put your hand there, it insulates it. So I have this little device, and you've got to watch when it's 40 degrees, it'll freeze to your lips. But watch this now. I took the ash off, and it's hotter. <laughs> the cameraman's laughing. He's not supposed to. But I'm not paid him, so it doesn't matter. Anyway, so we do this all the way around, and you do create a little more heat. We're not taking two takes, we're going to let this roll. Anyway, it's cheap budget film. Tape's only 250, what do you want? So what I do is I count out charcoal. This is charcoal. One, two, three, four, don't waste any. Five, six, seven, eight. 24 pieces of charcoal, they're in the bucket here, the one with the holes for ventilation. You always want to make sure it's on something you're not going to burn you put it on the grass, needless to say, you can kill the grass. Letter fluid doesn't make any difference. I don't suggest gasoline and you'll become a human torch. So just use whatever you can use as far as lighter fluid. What I'm going to do here is just throw some on there, and you don't need a lot. Just put it around the edges and in the middle, and that's it. Now you let it soak for about 10 to 15 minutes, and that's all you have to do. The ash, as you can see, it just banging it knocks the ash off, and it, the ash acts as an insulation. What we're going to do now is go down to the bottom here and clean off the ash, and we'll get another 20 minutes out of it before we light up our, our uh, other charcoal. You don't want to inhale, it's a bad thing to do. There he goes. Heat. Works good. Make sure you wear gloves because if you pick up your uh, Dutch oven without gloves, you may burn yourself. That's the other bird. We put some vegetables in this bird. He's a vegetarian. The handle doesn't really get too hot because there's a lot of air around it. Now actually, we could probably get about another 30 to 40 minutes out of these charcoals if I continue doing that. We haven't lit those yet. Lit those, yes. We haven't lit them yet, so we'll keep using these charcoals until they're almost dead. So that's what we're going to do. You can see these lasted quite a bit. There's still a lot of heat over there. You can't keep your hand on them too long. But I don't want to wait till they go down to nothing. So, <clears throat> now this one was on the bottom. What I'm going to do is rotate it and put it on the top. I like to do that. If you have four touch ovens, you'll remember to do that. Here's that ash again. You can see what happens. It insulates the heat. But we're disposing of those anyway. You can see what we have here. It only took about 10 or 12 minutes for this to happen after you light it. You want to let it soak at least 12 to 15 minutes before lighting it. So I've got three, six, seven, eight. And we just try to spread them around. A couple towards the end, two in the middle, something like that. You don't always have to look inside, but I like to. Just in case the bird got away, you see. There it is. This works good with beef, chicken, whatever. Well, it's still in there, so we're in good shape.
You can take the lid and dump it, but when you do that, ash goes on the bottom inside of it. On this side. So what I like to do is just take them off like so. I grab my bucket. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, maybe one of these days I'll get good and drop eight the first time. Now what I do is I usually put one on each side of the handle and down around here, like so. This causes heat to rise around the other one that's going to be on top, plus it also um, allows the heat for the top of this Dutch oven, so it acts like a regular oven. Let's take a look at this bird. Actually, it's one bird. We cut it in half. <laughs> Pretty hard to run away with one leg, so... He's not going anywhere. Now in this case, we've got a lot of ash on the top to avoid insulation. And it will cook, even though it's like that. I like to clean it off, so... Besides, the cameraman gets a kick when I do that. He thinks I'm a little goofy. But hey, who else do you know is cooking turkey outside today? There you go. Okay. That Tom Bird I told you about, half in here and half in here, we had it cut in half. We started at 12 o'clock. It's now 5 o'clock. I think it's time to go eat. Just dump some of the charks off here. wing on that one just a little bit. Mm -mm, smells good. Gotta go eat. Gotta go eat. Well, here's the bird. Finally finished. Just falls right apart. Five hours of cooking. Here's a bone to give you an idea. Watch this. Look at that. <laughs> Tender. So now we're going to have a nice Thanksgiving. Eat some turkey and I'll show you what it looks like. Ah, freshly good. See you next year. Bye.